This is what Starbucks looks like in the Middle East. First of all, everywhere you go, you will see posters in every corner of the city with all the boycotted brands, including Starbucks. So I was curious. I went into a Starbucks and this is what I saw. It was empty. There was not a single person in there. And to add insult to injury, every table had a QR code in English and in Arabic where Starbucks claims, I'm sorry about what I did. We actually don't support Israel, which was complete manufactured BS. And not to mention that the barista, there was only one barista and he looked like this. And here's a random cat I found. So in conclusion, Starbucks is going out of business because, well, that's what they get for supporting Israel. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Gosh. Halaba. Halaba. Belizun. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Today, I'm going to try to pet as much cats as possible. Let's see how, ma how many I can pet. Right now, I am currently in Ramallah, Palestine, and subhanAllah, it is so beautiful in here. I didn't know that I was going to be allowed to come here in the first place, but luckily, I'm allowed because I'm literally from here. Welcome to Palestine. All of this that you see here is Palestine. This is all made out of the same rocks that this is made out of, subhanAllah. I don't know why the schools are like caged up like that. That's a school right there. Oh, it looks like a prison match, subhanAllah. Nelson Mandela! This is Ramallah. South Africa and Palestine have a crush on each other. Here in Palestine, we love South Africa. Recently, South Africa has stood with Palestine during the ongoing genocide and will continue as it has always been through throughout the years. Africa has been a huge support to Palestine, and in return, the Palestinians have honored them by building a statue of Nelson Mandela in the middle of Ramallah. And everywhere you go, you will quite often see the South African flag even in protests. Both of them have struggled with apartheid, colonialism, and systematic oppression. Forever and since forever, I will always support South Africa. What the hell? That's what they get for supporting Israel. What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be interviewing some goats and sheep. Lego. So what made you decide to be a goat? Do you have any advice for me on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? Anyone? Like I'll take any of you. How many years have you worked in the music industry? Never mind. So what made you decide to be a donkey? Do you have any advice on cryptocurrency? So what do you do all day other than sleep and eat grass? Do you have any hobbies? 
What do you do for a living? How, how do you, do you pay rent? Yo, stay away from me. Stay away from me, sir. No, no thank you. Can you tell me some advice on how to go vegan? In conclusion, I learned nothing today. These are all my friends. Reading store names in Arabic. Dijaj Kentucky, Paradis, Pizza Hut, Baskin Rubins, Giraffiti, Israel Killers, It's Friday, yes. Allahumma inni as alcohol pink G wagon. Luxitan Awun Provence, Crispy Cream Donuts, Bubayas, Mother Care, Israel Killer. Don't put Israel at war. Would you agree with that? We are seeking peace. We are peace seekers. And what exactly are you doing to achieve peace? I don't think you understand. We are seeking peace. We are seeking peace. We are peace seekers.